we just finished packing, trying to fit 44 pounds in our big suitcases and only having one carry-on. It was very challenging. So we'll see how that goes because it's we actually get to take less than we took here. But now we just left our bags because we're supposed to check out at 10.30. Just going to explore a little more. Yeah. We're gonna go see the castle. Well, the lens is a little foggy, but this is the inside main courtyard of the Castel du Castel Nuovo. And they're just setting up for an event here. Okay, where should we go first? Up which creepy stairs shall we do ascend first? Yeah, head right over there. Up those stairs? All right, we just walked up into this room. The massive ceiling. This is the Baron's Hall. So kings used to sit in here, right? Yeah. Cool. So here we have a long hallway and just a skeleton. So what was in this room? Did we go in here? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, why? <gasps> the, the floors are all glass. So we can see underneath. Oh my goodness. The floors are glass. Did you see this? The floors are all glass. What is under here? Are these tombs also? Oh my goodness, this is so cool. They go all the way down. What? There's stairs that go down in there. Oh, you could actually get in there. There's a gap. Okay, so this is remains of some Roman villas that were built. Oh, okay, so these are houses, not cemeteries. So this would have <laughs> been, the disciples may have, lived, have come and stayed in one of those homes, you never know. The disciples? Yeah, because these were built during the mid first century. Oh. BC. Wow. This is like the coolest room I've ever seen. I just love the architecture. Like, there's so many cool hallways and archways and like, what is that? That is so cool. Just a way to let light in, I guess. This just looks like it goes right into the sky. The balcony. So the water of the ocean used to come right up to the edge of this castle, but they've built it out since then. I just got the hiccups. Daniel's pretending like he doesn't know me. If I, if, I hit, if I hiccup out loud in this building, it echoes. <laughs> and the problem with my hiccups is that usually they might last a couple hours and then go away, but then they'll come back. <sighs> they'll come back. I, I hate hiccups. It's super annoying. It'd be worse though if I was teaching. <laughs> oh. 
<sighs> Eventually it just starts hurting. <laughs> Daniel told me to do this. the old Napoli area that goes down underground into what the old town used to look like. All right, we got pizza on the go. <laughs> Literally, like pizza wrapped in these wrap things. Now we gotta find a spot to sit, because then our tour in there is at two o'clock. There we go, there's a bench. That will burn my bum, probably. The entrance is all in UV light. It looks like it's meant to be. Looks like it's meant to be a haunted house. Daniel's glowing nicely. I don't care. <laughs> this room is so cool. Look at this. Underground. Everybody's got their little lanterns. <laughs> There's where we came through, that tiny little hole. It took like eight minutes to get through, to wedge ourselves through there. Oh, it looks like we're going through another tiny hole. All right, so we just completed the underground tour of Naples. And I think we both highly recommend it. It was like, yeah, it was 10 euros each. Um, but it took you like, under these underground tunnels and you can barely fit. Like you really had to squeeze. So if you're claustrophobic, don't go. But um, <laughs> it was really cool. And then we actually like walked back through the streets to go to another section, which I didn't know we were gonna do. So it's kind of like two tours and one, it took an hour and a half, but it was fun. And we weren't supposed to video in there, so I didn't take much, but I took a little bit. Now we're gonna get some gelato again. And uh, then we got to get on our airplane to Paris. We went to one gelato place and got I got Nutella flavor because I love that. It was great Nutella, like straight Nutella because it wasn't cold. Like it was a little bit cold because they kept it in a freezer. But it was like gooey, just like Nutella. It wasn't frozen. It didn't melt like, like gelato is supposed to. Literally gave me a scoop of Nutella, and I, that was not what I wanted. <laughs> like, if I didn't want Nutella, I'll go buy a tub. <laughs> so we came back to the the place that we've always gone, and I got Nutella, raspberry, and kiwi, and Daniel got it as well. <laughs> raspberry, cookie, pineapple. Like, he's like, oh, 75 euros. He's like, because it's at night. 
and we're like, we heard it was like 20 something to 30 something, maybe 40. So we just said no, no. Um, we found out that the actual line for the taxis is 30 euro flat rate. Hopefully, we're in line. Um, so yeah, just get past those guys first. Because they will rip you off. Here comes Daniel. <laughs> this elevator is so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. I'm just freaking out. I'm just freaking out about how cute this is. Look at this. It's like the teeniest little elevator. So our room is just down here, and then you just turn the corner. Fifty-four. There's our little bed. It's small but nice. <laughs> so, anyways, we're gonna go to bed. Welcome to Paris. Oh. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs>